Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about the different drain options that you have for your DIY hot tubs. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so when you're designing the plumbing for your hot tub, you're gonna need a couple of drains. You always have two, and that's for safety. So if one blocks, the pump isn't completely starved of water because the last thing that you want to do is run your pump dry. We've mentioned that on previous videos. It will void the warranty on your pump and it's really not good practice at all. So you have two lower drains and these can either be side drains or you could have a bottom drain in your base of the hot tub. You could have a side drain and a bottom drain and those connect to the skimmer as well. It sounds more complicated than it is, but you can see behind me that there's a basic diagram here of, of how the inward flow actually works on your hot tub. So why would you opt for a bottom drain rather than uh, perhaps a side drain? So this is a bottom drain. It's got a uh, stainless steel top to it. It's a stainless steel unit, it's a very nice unit. Uh, it's by a company called Parline, and uh, it has a two inch pipe connection here, and it's designed to go at the base of your hot tub. So this will actually sit inside and lower down than the, the base or the pad that you're gonna pour. So if you want to include a bottom drain in your hot tub, then you need to actually put this in before you're pouring the, the concrete base. So you're gonna install this, you're gonna install the, the pipe work that's then gonna run outside of the pad, and then you can go ahead and pour your concrete. What are the advantages? Well, the advantages of a bottom drain are that you can then plumb in a means of emptying your hot tub by using the bottom drain and the suction on low speed from the pump. You put a diverter in and just divert that off to maybe a hose pipe that then runs into uh, the sewerage system of your property. The downside of bottom drains is that the flow rates tend to be a lot lower than those of side drains. So for this particular unit, the flow rate is 80 gallons per minute, which is not enough on its own for a jet pump. So if we're having 16 jets, we need at least 160 gallons per minute circulating through. Combine a bottom drain with uh, maybe one side drain and a skimmer, and then you've got enough inward flow for the system to work nicely. So just be mindful of the flow rates if you're using a bottom drain. So this is a side drain, and uh, I, I use these on most of my builds. This is a 200 gallon per minute side drain from waterway and i think it's the super high flow model and and this is what i put into the sides of most of my designs the reason that i use side drains is that you can firstly you can fit them at a later date and what i mean is you don't need to have them in place before you pour any concrete so you can put in your concrete base and if you're using you know a brick build then you just core a hole and this sits nicely into the, the base of the, um, of the tub. Now, the downside to a side drain is that if you do want to empty the tub using the pump, you're gonna have a, a level of water at the bottom because these don't go right the way down. They always sit a little bit off the, uh, off the floor. So you will have to manually remove maybe that last inch, inch and a half of water uh, from your hot tub if you're gonna use them to actually drain your tub. I prefer side drains because I think they're a lot easier to fit. You're simply coring a uh, two and a half inch hole and this sits in, you've got your pipe works and you fill round it. It's really, really simple. It's a lot easier to do than installing a floor drain. And I also like these particular side drains because they have a, a much higher flow rate. I don't need to worry about the pump being starved of water because of low flow rates. Two of these combined with a skimmer will give me more than enough flow to feed even the biggest of pumps. So for me, I prefer side drains, but you can actually combine the two. So you could have one side drain, you could have a lower drain as well, which will give you the ability to then drain your tub using the pump. 
The whole idea of a DIY hot tub is that you get to build it and design it to your own requirements. So if you want to empty it using the pump, then put in a bottom drain. It's as simple as that. You know, we design our, our hot tubs to, to fit exactly what we want, which perhaps the off the shelf ones you know, don't cater for. If I can help you in any way, if you've got any questions at all, please put them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next